To begin installation, remove the front access panel. Next, take the front support brace from Warren, insert it through the front two holes of the frame. For this, you'll use a washer against the head of the bolt and a washer on the back side underneath the locking nut. Slide the support brace for the bumper behind the two vertical portions of the frame. Using the U-bolt, slide it over the front portion of the frame through the two holes on the support brace. Then place a washer and a locking nut on the back side. You'll repeat this three times. At this point, just hand tighten. Next, place the bumper on top of the front bracket and to the outside of each of the back brackets. Using the supplied bolts, place a washer against the head of the bolt, slide it up through the bottom of the bracket through the bottom of the bumper. Place a washer on top of the bumper and the locking nut. Hand tighten everything at this point. And repeat this three times. Next, position the frame mount with the side pieces of the bumper and slide a bolt through one of the holes. Use a washer against the head of the bolt and a washer on the back side of the brace with the locking nut. Hand tighten each of the bolts and repeat this three times for the left and right side. Next, position the bumper as level as possible and begin tightening the front two bolts. Before tightening these two bolts, make sure to check the levelness of the bumper against the plastic body lines. Once aligned, tighten up fully. Next, tighten the four bolts that hold the bottom of the bumper to the front frame mount. Before you begin tightening the side mounting brackets, make sure to double check that the U-bolts are not bound up at all against the frame. If everything looks good, just uh, begin tightening the side brackets. We'll repeat this for the other side as well. Now we'll tighten the U-bolts. Tighten these a little bit each time, making sure that there's proper amount of thread for each nut. There's four of these as well, so you'll repeat this three more times, uh, two on each side. Next, go around and hand tighten each of the U-bolt nuts. Repeat this same process for the other side. Once you're done hand tightening the U-bolts, go around and do the same for the rest of the bolts. Your worn winch bumper install is now complete.